against Sudan just now. How do you did you see the game? I mean, um, as a Ghanaian and as a journalist, um, all of us we are not happy. Uh, we realize um, the players we have the quality, but we didn't get our A game. We had a lot of chances, but unfortunately, we couldn't um, bear the chances, and it's a big problem for us because since 2004, we've not uh, we've always been going to the Afcon. We've not missed any Afcon. We missed the Afcon in 2004, and about um, 10 times we've been going on a roll. So this will be a very big challenge, and it will be a very big problem. If you're not able to qualify, it's going to be a big blow to the GFA, the Ghanaian people, the Black Stars itself, and the coach. As a leader of the team, who will be the only man or the only coach to have taken or to have not able to take us to the Afcon in about two decades. So to say it is actually a big blow to us. We needed this point so much. We needed this point to but unfortunately, it's a game. Not forgetting that um, we playing against our former coach, who knows the terrain so well, who is also one of the best on the continent. He knows our game plan. He knows how we play our game. So unfortunately, um, both teams did well, but Ghana needed this win so much. But unfortunately, we couldn't get it. Okay, let me ask you about the players. Uh, Mohamed Kudus was given the captain of the Black Stars. Do you think the captain Ambad affected Mohamed Kudus in any way? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Kudus is a professional player and uh, he aims to reach that height. So I'm not sure the captain Amban will play a role in uh, our game, not able, we not be able to win. Um, it's a game of chances. He had a couple of chances, but he couldn't score. But we need to also give credit to the Sudanese goalkeeper. He did about three crucial saves. We all saw it. These saves, you could have just scored and at least get, you know, three points. But hey, as I said, it's a game of chances. But unfortunately, we could have buried all these chances. We had me and Paul, but we couldn't score. And I'm not sure, and I don't want to center on the captain armband to the point that if he's on the armband or not, he plays. If he gets chances in, if he's supposed to score, he will score. If he doesn't, we shouldn't blame the captain armband too much. We should focus on the game. We couldn't have our A game, and that is a big blow for us. Okay, let's put the draw aside. On the way forward, what do you think Ghana should do? I think Coach Otuado is the man who is supposed to take certain bold decisions. Looking at this game, if he had taken um, some decisions in the early stages, we could have won about three goals today. Semenyo was playing so well, but I think he could have substituted Semenyo, brought in, let's say, um, Fatal came in, he did a lot of runs, and we saw the end product. If he had sapped Semenyo off to say brought in Michael Beidou, who would have just brought Andrea Yu on the flanks, operate from that side. Because we all know that Andrea Yu sometimes is better on the flanks. So let's say we have um, Jordan Ayu on the left, having Fatal on the right, then putting Michael Beidou up front with Kudus behind him. We could have gotten a goal, but I don't know. So everything lies, you know, I mean, on the shoulders of um, Coach Otuado. Going forward, he needs to have the balls, do certain things. And he should know that if certain players are not ready to play, he should sideline them. Because now, everything lies on him. If you qualify, it is him. If you don't, he will be the worst coach. If Coach Otuado fails to qualify to the Afcon, he will be the worst coach. Because in about two decades, we've been going to the Afcon. Back, forth, come, you know, every time. So if Otuado becomes the only coach to have failed Ghanaians to be in the Afcon, then I think he should be the worst coach Ghana has ever had in the last two or three decades. So everything lies on him. If he wants us to qualify, he should do what is best. If he thinks the materials are not good, he should know who to call, who to sideline, and then move forward. Um, we saw uh, Thomas Depati who was absent. Do you think in this game um, we felt the absence of Thomas Depati in this particular Absolutely no. Absolutely, Absolutely no. Um, I'm not sure if you speak to our 10 supporters, even one of them will be mentioned Depati because the midfield was solid. We had no issues. And I like the pair, Ibrahim Suleimana and Elisha. They both understand each other. They both play to a point that, okay, let me be behind you, go, let me do the clearance, okay, no, let me do the dirty work. Then do. So both players, they understand themselves, they played better, and there was no problem in the midfield. Personally, I didn't see or I didn't miss Pate in the midfield. The Suleimana Elisha pair was solid. Thank you very much for granting.